So about two years ago, I was coming across these beautiful websites utilizing 3D models and illustrations. And at the time, I did not know what they were called. So I did what anyone else would do when they don't know something. I Googled it and that led me to platforms I had visited before like Behance and Dribbble, which are two popular design inspiration. And I think you can like purchase designs from those websites for your projects. And that's where I came across 3D icon packs and things that other creators were selling for developers and artists to use in their projects. So once I figured out that these things were mostly being created with like 3D modeling, I started to look that up. Well, what is 3D modeling and how does one go about creating their own? So with that, I found softwares like Blender and a browser-based version of Blender, I guess, which is called Spline. And I just started to kind of look at tutorials and figure out like, how do you create these things? Cause I was like extremely fascinated on how I could create my own for future projects. Now, all of that led me to find 3JS, which is what I'm gonna talk about in this video. So let's get into what it is, how you can utilize it and how you can learn. So let's first talk about what 3JS is. 3JS is a JavaScript library that you can use to create 3D graphics and animations that you can later display in the web browser using WebGL. And WebGL is a JavaScript API that renders the 3D models in the web browser. 3JS can be seen in projects across different areas of development, such as front-end web development, game development, and virtual reality. Now with all of that out of the way, I really wanted to show you guys some of my favorite projects that I've come across over the last couple years and show you guys just how much you can do with the power of 3D modeling and the 3JS library and bring them together to make super unique projects. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Okay, so we're gonna start this one with a website that I believe is by Jesse Joe. I think that's how you say his name. And if I did not pronounce that right, I am sorry. I tried to look it up, but it's Z-H-O-U and I'll have everything in the description box below. But you press this start button and it takes you to this beautiful ramen shop that was created. I'm gonna turn down my volume here for just a second so that it doesn't come up on this mic. But this is absolutely amazing. Um, as you can see, we have his name down here and it shows all the different things that he does, management consulting, developing, data scientist, videographer, digital artist. So if we go into it here, you can use your mouse to kind of like, you know, rotate around and just kind of zoom in here to see all the little details. Like he has a little Tesla. I don't know if that's like a little charging thing, um, but there is the project little vending machine and it shows you all of the projects that he's created that he wants to showcase on here and it I think if you click on them they show you he talks about like what he used to create these so as you can see this was created using 3js and if you go back you can kind of click through all the other different projects and going back it takes you back out and we can go to his about me which obviously talks about him it talks about his skills and his experience and then you know you press the back button and it comes back out i mean this is absolutely incredible i think and i'm not going to click on it right now but i'm pretty sure when i visited this a couple of years ago if you click into one of these screens it takes you to his youtube channel where he created like some of his videography projects could be wrong but i Feel like i remember um seeing that and then if you click on credits it takes you back to this little arcade game you click the start and it takes you through all of the credits and his thanks for people who helped him create this website or gave him inspiration different things like that so this is one of my favorite 3js projects that i've ever come across um, maybe even if you can't actually like click on these videos i think these are like related to some projects that he's done i'm not honestly sure but this is one i highly recommend taking a look at and kind of just playing around with it and seeing just what he was able to do with the technology so getting into the next one this is another one of my favorite ones and this is by a developer named david as you can see he has created himself in this cute little 3d model if if you click I'm not sure if the sound will come up in my video recording but if you click on some of these little elements that he made in the 3d models it plays different music you can change the music and so yeah that's pretty cool now scrolling down he goes into this little scientific tube and it tells you more about him and his skill set and you scroll down even more and here we go down to all of his projects all the different things that he's um, created and again tells you what skill set he had to use to create these things and if you scroll down here this was a nice surprise you get the 3d model and then it turns into a real photo of him so this was super creative super unique to me and I just love everything about it I thought that was so cute and then you get down to this part and you don't even realize that it's gonna go from the 3d model to a real picture of the creator so this is another one that I was just 
really, really impressed by and another example of what you can do with 3JS. So this is another one that is very involved and we're not gonna get through all of this because this one is more of a game. So this is called Coastal World and as you can see, you can navigate through here using your, I'm using my keyboard right now and I think you can use your mouse but it's a lot easier with your keyboard but you kind of just walk around this little world and as you come across these different people, you can click on the message and they'll kind of talk to you, tell you about some banking and financial financial advice and I believe this was created for a banking company and so they have their actual official website for the company but then this is just an additive that they did for fun to get people more interested in their banking and you know the different resources and different things that they offer and this is so cute like you go through you talk to people you get financial advice and you get to unlock different worlds you can click on this little phone and get through the little map for the whole island there was a game that I played within the game that was like a jet ski race and I'm honestly not sure where that is on here but you can see different little resources here and I th just thought this was absolutely amazing. So this is another one I highly recommend you go through your own and go and explore the whole little coastal world, the little island and see what all is here and just look at all the different things that they were able to create with 3D modeling and 3JS. Now this last website I'm gonna showcase, I saved for last on purpose because we're gonna let it flow into the resources but this is, a website that was created by a developer programmer named Bruno Simone I believe is how you say his last name it's spelled Simon so that's how I would pronounce it in my language but I believe it's pronounced Simone so anyway this is his portfolio and if you press start here you get this cute little road this cute little town that you know you can navigate through with this car and you use your keyboard which I'm not the best at with this one for some reason my orientation gets thrown off with the different arrows that I'm supposed to use and I'm not the best driver in real life so that has a lot to do with it too but as you come down here you can see all of the different projects that he's made um, one of these we're going to actually talk more in depth about in a second but these are his projects um, you can come around here and you know you just drive around this little cute little town that he built there was like a ramp somewhere over here again this is like confusing for me but you can see all of the little cute things in the background I'm going the wrong way this is confusing me because of the way that the car is turned but yeah it's it's just super cute and you get different things so activities it talks about different things that you can do or uh, I think different things that he did in his career so this is just another website that I highly recommend you getting in and playing around on here yourself. My kids love this website. They saw me playing around with this like a few years ago when I first found it and they were like, what is that? And so they were on here trying to figure out how to drive the little car and do all the little things. Um, I don't have my sounds uh, turned up on here, but you can like honk the horn. You can utilize your keyboard to do different functions. So another great example of what you can do with 3JS. So with all of those beautiful websites being showcased, I wanna go ahead and jump into the next portion of this video Video, which is resources and how you can start learning 3JS yourself. The first resource I want to look at does go with that last website that we looked at because Bruno does offer his own course. It is a seven chapter, 66 lesson course that is packed with everything you need to know to learn 3JS. You're going to learn things from the very basics of 3D modeling all the way to advanced concepts like physics, more about JavaScript and how 3JS can be integrated with React. I do wanna mention that Bruno does have some prerequisites that he recommends before starting this course, like some beginner JavaScript. So it is recommended that you know some of these basics first before you jump into this course. At the time of filming this video, the course is $95, which I feel like is a great deal considering how much you're gonna get in the course. And I personally can't wait to start this course probably early next year when I get a little bit further in my JavaScript learning. The next resource I wanna talk about and highly recommend is the official 3JS website because this is where you're gonna get all your documentation for the library and you'll be able to read through the documentation and kind of go through a tutorial on how to use the library as you're reading through. Another perk of this website is you'll get to see a lot more websites that have been created using this library and a lot more things that were showcased. This resource is a resource specifically to learn Blender and 3D modeling and I did purchase this course myself and get a little bit through it. I do need to hop back on it but this course is really really good at teaching you the basics of Blender and really learning the key short keys and things that you need to know at the very beginning of your 3D modeling journey. And at the time of recording this video, the course is $10 and you can find it on Gumroad. So I'll have all of this stuff linked in the description below. Another great 3D modeling resource is by a creator named Nikki. I follow her on Instagram a while ago and I believe her handle is called Nikki Blender. She's been putting out her own courses here lately. She started teaching herself 3D modeling at the end of 2020 and now she's a professional 3D modeler and she works closely with Blender. So I believe her courses are anywhere from 
25 to 250 euros, which if I did my Google conversions right, is about 28 US dollars to $276. And I'll have all of that information in the description box below as well. So that's gonna do it for this video. I am so in love with 3JS and the idea of taking programming and 3D modeling, meshing the two together to create these fun, beautiful, creative websites and projects. And I can't wait to get into 3JS with the Bruno course myself in the near future to create some things myself. So let me know in the comments if this was interesting. If you're interested in 3D modeling and 3JS, let me know if you've already started learning it. What are your thoughts? Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being here. I love you so much. You know that. And I will see you in the next one.